nestled in a lush green valley, surrounded by towering trees of an ancient forest, lay the quaint village of Emberwood. This charming little place, with its rows of snug houses and winding cobblestone paths, was like a hidden gem tucked away from the bustling world. The heart of Emberwood was its village square, where stood an old yet majestic lantern. This wasn't just any lantern. It was the soul of the village glowing warmly each night. Around this lantern, the villagers would gather after their day's work, filling the air with laughter, music, and the aroma of shared meals. It was here, under the gentle light of the lantern, that friendships flourished and the sense of community was strongest, making Emberwood not just a place to live, but a place to call home. But as time went by, things began to change. The cheerful chatter and warm gatherings became less and less. People started to stay in their own houses, busy with their own things, hardly speaking to their neighbours. The once lively village square, lit by the lantern's glow, stood quiet and deserted. It was during this sad time that the lantern, which had always shone brightly, suddenly went out. This made everyone in the village even sadder. They missed the light, but more than that, they missed being together. Among them was a brave and adventurous boy named Theo. He remembered the stories his grandparents used to tell about a magical firebird whose flames could light up the whole sky. Theo decided he would go into the forest and find this firebird to relight their lantern and maybe, just maybe, bring back the happiness to Emberwood. Theo's journey through the forest was full of sneaky moves. He tiptoed past sleeping bears and quietly hopped over rustling bushes, always keeping his eyes open for the firebird. Finally, in a clearing that sparkled like a thousand tiny stars, Theo found the firebird. Its feathers shone in bright oranges, reds and yellows like a sunset. Excitedly, Theo asked the firebird to come and light the lantern with its magical flames. But to his surprise, the firebird gently said, I'm sorry, Theo, but I don't have any special powers. I can't light your lantern. Theo felt a big lump in his throat. He thought all hope was lost, but as he walked back, feeling really down, he started thinking about what the firebird had said. When he got back to the village, he told everyone about his adventure and what the firebird had told him. Seeing all the sad faces around him, Theo had an idea. He asked everyone to come out of their houses that evening, bring whatever food they had and meet in the village square. At first, people were hesitant, but they came. They shared their food, told stories, and even started to dance just like in the old days. The children laughed and the grown-ups smiled, something that hadn't happened in a long time. And then, something amazing happened. As everyone was having fun together, the lantern flickered and slowly began to glow again, brighter than ever. The people of Emberwood couldn't believe their eyes. Their laughter and shared joy had relit the lantern. They realized that the real magic wasn't in the firebird or in the lantern itself, but in them, being together and sharing happy moments. From that day on, they made sure to spend more time with each other, and the lantern continued to shine, a symbol of their friendship and unity. And Theo, the brave boy who went looking for a firebird, became a little hero in his own village for bringing back the light and joy to Emberwood.